back, everyone. This is Jason, a.k.a. J-Bone of the Rambling About Wrestling Podcast, right here to bring you, uh, man, lost another hero. <laughs> How many are we going to lose this year? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, uh, it's, it's been a hell of a year. It really has been, you know. Piper, um, Dusty Rhodes, so many others, and now Lemmy, uh, Kilmister, and, man, I know this is one that the fans are not shocked by, but it doesn't make it any easier or any better, um, you know, for... <laughs> For all reality's sake, you know, Levy's one of those guys, how he lived, you know, between the smoking and the drinking, man, he, he <laughs> it, it wouldn't have been no surprise if he died years ago, you know, um, but he lived an insanely full life, 70 years old, he was born in 1945, passed away yesterday. Um, so yeah, I wake up for, wake up, get ready for work last night. It's like between 12 and 1. <clears throat> Making myself something to eat. And I'm scrolling through Facebook. And, uh, my best, fr I see my best friend, Jesse, post, rest in peace, Lemmy, uh, Kilmister, one of my favorites. And he posts, Motorhead, eat the rich from 1987 and I'm like rest in peace Lemmy what? so I keep scrolling and I start seeing all these things about Lemmy passing away and I was like oh no so in honor of him last night at work all through my shift I cranked Motorhead all night long on Spotify and um and so now I'm, you know, I'm home from work, I'm relaxing, uh, having some coffee, catching up on news. So I go to the Motorhead page, and this is what it says. There is no easy way to say this. Our mighty, noble friend, Lemmy, passed away today after a short battle with an extremely aggressive cancer. He had learnt of the disease on December 26th and was at home, sitting in front of his favorite video game, which the Rainbow fr from the uh, video game from the Rainbow, which had recently made its way down the street with his family. So that's interesting, you know. It's like he spent so much time in the Rainbow playing these little video games, sitting in the same spot all the time, and then finally towards the end of his life here, I guess they finally gave him the game. This is what it sounds like. It goes on to say, we cannot begin to express our shock and sadness. There aren't words. We will say more in the coming days, but for now, please play Motorhead loud. Play Hawkwind loud. Play Lemmy's... Play Lemmy's music loud. Have a drink. Or a few. Share stories. Celebrate the life this lovely, wonderful man celebrated so vibrantly himself. He would want exactly that. Ian Lemmy Kilmister, 1945 to 2015. Born to lose. Live to win. Please feel free to post your condolences, well wishes, and memories on our official tribute page. And then there's a link below this. Um, so you know, this is this is this video is my tribute. Um, it's this has been an emotional month for me in general. You know, and I've and I've expressed that in one of my last videos talking about Brooke McCarter 
uh, one of the vampires from Lost Boys that passed away. And that was kind of emotional, because I love that movie, you know? Growing up, those guys, you know, when I was a teenager and I seen that movie for the first time, you know, those guys became my heroes, because they were so cool. And then going on and becoming a fan of hard rock and heavy metal and and one of my favorites because I you know more, more, I don't mean to sound like a bad fan but Motorhead was one of those bands where I I listened to them here and there throughout the years and it was never like a die hard fan but I always had the utmost respect for I, for Lemmy himself you know people called him the godfather of metal and yeah, he was. You know, he was one of those metal icons that started out back in the day in the, was it the 70s? As far as, you know, his music and stuff. And, I, you know, and, and I'm sorry, I don't know Hawkwind. And that was, you know, before Motorhead. But when I get some time later, I'll probably, you know, check it out. see See what it was like. See how it compared to um, his current stuff, you know. And as I was listening to his stuff last night at work, um, man, you know, it was it was so diverse the stuff over the years. I mean, to the just the blistering stuff from Overkill to the slow um, crunch of like. Uh, March or Die. I love that one. Um, you know, it, it to like a, a, a bluesy rock. I mean, his band did, I mean, it was all rock and roll. But it went from like blistering metal to blues to like a, just like a, a almost like a, a punk sound at times. He was, you know, his as much as some of their stuff did always have that motorhead sound, it did have a lot of different, like, like, like an onion, you know, different layers to it. <laughs> um, one of my favorites growing up, what really turned me on to motorhead personally, was uh, 19, was it the 1916, I believe that's what it was called, um, it was like from like 1991. I need to look this shit up. I should have this stuff ready, but whatever. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um. Yeah. 90, 90 to 92. So 1916, March or Die... And then, you know, a lot of stuff throughout the 90s and 2000s, I, I listened to here and there, but then recently started listening to them again, and, like, the latest one, Bad Magic, man, it's it's great stuff, you know? And they have so many, uh, such a vibrant catalog of stuff throughout the years. It's like, yeah, it takes a while to listen to, but please, if you're a fan of hard rock heavy metal... Um, motorhead this, this alright so I'm just looking at the list here oh excuse me um, <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4 5, 6, 7 8, 10 so like 20, 20, you know, give or take a few, you know, and I don't know if they counted live ones in here or not, but man, you know, for like thir almost 30 years, 30? No, 40, almost 40 years, holy crap. So almost 40 years with Motorhead and then, you know, whatever he did with Hawkwind, man, what a, what a long career, you know, and it's 
is so sad. So, okay, so they say share a story. So, okay, I'm going to share a story. The one and only time that I saw Motorhead was back in Ozfest. Um, I think it was 90, I want to say 97. 96 or 97, it was the year of Ozfest that had like all the like alternative rap rock artists on like Coal Chamber and uh, Lip Biscuit, Seven Dust was on there. A lot of a lot of newer bands. Um, and then it was co-headlined by Tool. Megadeth was on there. Um, and what opened the whole thing on the main stage? I didn't check out the side stages that day. I I sat pretty much the whole day at the main stage and uh, Motorhead opened up the concert I had gotten off third shift picked up my buddy Gary in Waukesha and you know we got we got ready um, and I was so I was up all night and was ready to go all day the next day. Well, that almost happened, but nonetheless, um, you know, we grabbed some snacks, hit the road for Alpine Valley, south in uh, in uh, Wisconsin, southern Wisconsin, and uh, you know, really had no clue. Just knew it was going to be a good day of hard rock, heavy metal. Um, knew most of the bands. Some of them we didn't. But, uh, you know, never seen Motorhead before, and they hit the stage. And this, th this is not meant to knock Motorhead, okay? This is, A, I was tired as hell. <laughs> B, the acoustics at Alpine Valley are not that great, depending on what kind of band you are. And and C, there was a lot of freaking drugs around there. <laughs> and I probably had a few beers of me early on in the day as well. So putting all this together, I'll just say that I was not impressed by Motorhead. All their songs sounded like all the same. Just one long barrage of all the same songs. But it was still cool, you know, it was Motorhead. And so it was one of those things that I said to myself back then, I was like, well, whatever, I, I still like Motorhead, I'm not going to, you know, not like them anymore just because I didn't think their performance at Alpine Valley for Ozfest was that great. And I swore to myself that someday down the road, I was going to see them again somewhere sometime sadly now that cannot happen but there are you know plenty of other sources of their music on YouTube and you know concert videos here and there to you know see the legacy that he laid he laid down so that's that's my one Motorhead story. It's not a great story. It's kind of dumb, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's, it's it's been a sad year. We've lost a lot of heroes. Um, I've yet to read a lot of the tributes that are out there I just I don't have it in me today to, to go look them all up I've seen a few Triple H did a nice did a nice one um, I think he put it on uh, Instagram or Twitter or whatever you know the stuff he put together um, was nice you know 
his uh, his music was an integral part of uh, Lemmy's music was an integral part of the character behind Triple H you know his music really defined his character it just was so much a part of him you know um, I've yet to watch Raw yet I don't know if they did a tribute to Lemmy on Raw um, so after I'm done making this I'm going to go watch Raw and uh, see, we'll see but um all I can say is I'm glad this year is coming to a close because um, we, we, we have <clears throat> we've lost enough people this year. You know, we've lost enough heroes, and I I'm tired. I'm tired of losing heroes. You know, but that's what happens when you lose when you when you get older. You know, the ones you love, the ones you look up to. Um, you know, they they go away, and um, there's not really much else to say. Um, just you know, it sucks. It it was expected, but it that doesn't make like I said, it doesn't make it any easier. You know, it's it's one of those things where ah, you know, he's gonna live forever. You know, <laughs> he's he's pickled. You know. <laughs> So, so that's um, that's my thoughts on this. A uh, little, 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 little long-winded on this, but um, um, you know, it is what it is, and I'm sorry. Uh, we'll miss you, Lemmy. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure this means the end of Motorhead. You know, I. They're not one of those bands where they're gonna find some young cat to go fill his place you you can't and they wouldn't you know um, so uh, rest in peace Lemmy we miss you God bless and um, like Ozzy said we'll see you on the other side thanks for watching